Good morning to all of you. I am Dr. Suranta Perera, consultant pediatrician and vice president of the Sri Lanka Medical Association. I am the convener for the intercollegiate committee where all the colleges come together to discuss current issues. And uh, today's uh, talk is about the problems faced by children. And all of us are know our country, Sri Lanka, is currently in a crisis. Primarily, it was an issue with the economy, so the economic meltdown led to political instability. And uh, it has led to serious consequences and many sectors were affected. One of the main sector affected was health sector. And in the health, uh, many disciplines are struggling to meet uh, the demand as well as the uh, when it comes to drug medicines, uh, delivering services and uh, treating patients. And when we talk about health, we recognize different subgroups who are being affected. We call them vulnerable groups especially. So the children is one of the vulnerable groups. Others are who are disabled and then elderly and uh, marginalized groups. So. <clears throat> When we talk about children, uh, primarily when the household is affected, when the parents' livelihood is affected, uh, and then the, when they have issues uh, of uh, going to school, and uh, when the school, schools itself have issues of how to conduct and uh, face the problems, as in all, uh, affect uh, children. So, <clears throat> all of us know when we talk about children, the main key areas are their nutrition and then the health, how they get treatment for acute problems as well as the chronic problems. And other thing is education. So they have to go to the school, they have to get themselves educated as well as they develop uh, skills, how to move in a team and then uh, they do sports. And those are very important. And finally, the security of the children also is very important. So when it comes to especially food, all of us know currently most of the household are affected. More than 60% of the families are taking measures to uh, cut down on the nutrition and then cut down on the number of meals they are having and the uh, quality has gone down. So the, we are seeing long, short and long term problems in children related to this. One thing is around 60 to 70% of the children are stunted and uh, so stunting means they have not gained adequate height or their age. And the second thing is thinness. They are thin for that their age and its number is around 17% and similar number. We are exit for the less than 50% uh, stunting. So the stunting is a manifest as a long term, short to long, medium to long term issue. And all of us know primarily they were affected with the COVID-19 and later they are affected with the this current crisis and uh, so uh, not only that uh, in the same regard uh, households are struggling uh, they are taking many measures to uh, cut down uh, expenditure one thing is restricting the uh, meal uh, items and uh, nutrition and they struggled with uh, buying the cooking oil and then the gases and uh, the uh, it's expensive and other thing is availability also low uh, and uh, other thing is uh, transport, transport affected and many people have lost livelihood. So their income also less and the inflation has uh, gone up, skyrocketed and at uh, the same time the food prices, especially rice and other essential commodities and then uh, their prices have gone up actually that double. So this has affected household very strongly and then farming community also uh, represent 30% of the, our, uh, the people who are in jobs and uh, the farming community uh, struggles because of the lack of fertilizers and many other things. So the products uh, related to farming is also less, especially rice uh, and the second thing is uh, their household also affected uh, because of lack of facilities and lack of attention. So all in all, food security is uh, insecurity is a main theme for many households, children are being affected and we predict nutritional crisis 
uh, nutritional crisis means to the many people will not have meals and then many people will not have adequate energy and uh, so that is one dimension i talked about when it comes to health of the children the health is being also affected because we lack supply especially medicine and uh, uh, other infrastructure necessary the um, we need the capacity to, uh, to continue testing so reagents are at insufficient levels uh, so uh, when children are being admitted uh, they are we struggle to do appropriate investigation and treat them adequately lack of antibiotics is also another problem and uh, so the definitely health is being affected we have developed de we have developed as well as developing certain plans to rescue health for the next three years, especially intercollegiate committee is uh, the members of it. They are doing a very good job. And the other aspect is the schooling. The schooling is was affected uh, primarily initially with the COVID-19 because many schools were closed. And then later because of the unrest, schools were closed again. And then the teachers also went on strike. Uh, the reason may be uh, justifiable but uh, the impact is huge on children and uh, they had to uh, uh, they were not ready to go on zoom and uh, study and then to do join zoom they need uh, adequate infrastructure uh, the availability of the uh, mobile devices laptops uh, and access to internet Th those are very important things when we talk about online learning and the other thing is children get, did not get a prior training also. So initially they struggle. Now when they want to, when they have the opportunity to go to school, again they have issues because of transport is affected. Very high prices for the uh, prices have gone up uh, when it come to uh, pet petrol and diesel. Uh, so the van people who hire vans, they have increased their charges. So uh, parents are struggling. And then buying school books, also very important. Recently, I read uh, in the articles, uh, paying uh, water bills also a problem for schools. So sanitation will be also affected. So here the schools are affected. And then uh, most of the days, if the schools are closed, uh, children will have less opportunity to engage in sports. Sports develop their character and uh, they, be, they know, learn how to uh, behave in a team. So those are very important because when they become adults, they, they, it, this prior training will help them to be good citizens of our country. And uh, then other thing is uh, their hobbies. Hobbies also are different uh, from drawing us to uh, uh, visiting different places, reading uh, books, etc. So uh, when, the, when there is an economic meltdown, uh, the cost is high. So children are not happy with all these things. And uh, all in all, children are affected in many ways. So uh, end point is, uh, do we have well-educated, uh, balancedly thinking uh, citizens for our future to take the leadership? So government has taken some measures. I think uh, those measures we have to rethink, reorient, and the decision has to be made based on uh, uh, data. So the, we have to make changes, incremental policy changes, not uh, dra dramatic changes. And then the, we have to look at uh, the imp whether we are implementing it properly. Proper surveillance is important. And then we have to measure outcomes also. So uh, better coordination and uh, better uh, decision making is what, what is necessary. And we must uh, have a good dialogue with the a grassroots level a leadership, especially uh, Grama Sevaka, public health midwife, uh, MOH, medical office of health, PHI, we can gather a lot of data, so is the doctors. Uh, not to forget parents themselves, because they express their views in the social media and the, um, uh, uh, as well as the other media available, newspapers, etc. Uh, we have to do studies and see whether uh, what they express their opinion. Not only that, finally, we had to look at some of the countries which are, which are being affected, especially Greece, Lebanon, and uh, some Middle Eastern countries. And then how well they came out of this problem. What were the issues? 
and how they how did they uh, analyze it and how remedial what are the remedial measures they have taken so the literature reviews and reviews of this uh, data is very important finally we must have a very robust plan based on evidence which will be implemented against time